On today's show, we're talking about the changing ways that Chinese people buy and read books. Like most countries in the world, China is slowly making the transition from bookstores to online sellers and from paper to digital books. We'll first look at the move away from brick and mortar bookstores, and in the second half of the show, we'll talk about the move to ebooks and examine why new Kindle devices are banned in mainland China. A 2008 United Nations report showed Chinese to be anything but avid readers. Residents of Shanghai read the most, taking in a respectable eight books per year, but on average, Chinese people don't finish a single non school related book in a given year. Against this background and increasing competition from online sellers, Chinese bookstores are struggling. Asked about the state of China's bookstores, industry insiders are uniformly gloomy. One frequently cited statistic claims that in the past 10 years, 50% of privately owned bookstores have shut their doors. That number comes from China's Book Industry Association and includes the claim that over the past five years, not a single new bookselling chain store has emerged. Interviewed by Xinhua about the report, one industry insider sounded a grave warning. Quote, These numbers are not an exaggeration. They might even underestimate the size of the problem, and this trend is going to continue into the future. Some of Beijing's most popular and storied bookstores have shut their doors in the past few years. Wind in the Pines, one of Beijing's three largest bookstores, finally called it quits in 2011 after 17 years. The store blamed double-digit increases in rent, as well as the continuing drain of customers to online stores. Internet retailers consistently undercut their brick-and-mortar rivals on price by more than a third. China's largest online bookseller is Dongdong.com, but it now faces stiff competition both from domestic and foreign enterprises. The American giant Amazon has made a concerted push into the Chinese market and says it is here to stay. Amazon has seen its business in China grow by over 100 percent, but is still struggling for profitability. In an interview with Reuters, Wang Hanhua, the head of Amazon China, explained the company's willingness to take losses as it explores the market. Quote, 